Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Satisfactory with Entrelysium. Hello. Hello. We're here looking at the wonderful view we have out of our hub. It's actually really nice. Usually I build my hub with this window facing like a cliff or something. I could I could get used to this window. Oh yeah, we could just sit on our porch and look out at the, the wonderful green landscape and the sunrise and be happy that we just snapped our fingers and killed half the universe. It, it, it reminded me of that scene, okay? It's... Doggo so just brought me for coal. Oh yeah, he does that. Wait, coal? Nice. Yeah. That's actually quite good. I mean, four coal won't do much for us, but it it like it might help us a small amount. I'm gonna put it in the in the thing. Like at, at the critical moment, we can use it to make a small bit of extra power in a coal generator if we need to. Yeah, like a tiny tiny bit. Um, right. What if we? What are we doing now? Uh, just automation, or...? Uh, we've still got hub stuff to, to upgrade, so that's the key thing at the moment, is just making enough uh, iron plates and rods to do all that stuff. And I think this might have all filled up. Oh, it's all it's all just run out of ore is what's happened. All right, you're grabbing the ore. Stick it in the, the machines and... <laughs> I'll grab what we have here and put it into the... the thing. Oh, there's Ray. I wish it would appear in the same place for different people. Like that seems like such an easy thing to program in the grand well, scheme of it, making it this probably, game. Well, like there is a setting. So everyone wondering, there is a setting which is like your network quality. If you set that to ultra, I suspect it will send like the location of animals and stuff. Maybe we've got it set to low because Benson's internet is terrible. I don't. Well, I don't know if low is helping the situation. We just kept trying different you ones. Yeah, this is the longest you've been without a crash. Yeah, ah! this is maybe true. Congratulations. Flashing! You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass. We got extra generator. power now, so that's New important. Buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ooh. Uh, and then I'm just gonna immediately queue up the next one. Uh, oh, and this unlocks the space elevator now. That's weird. It's really confusing. I think they've changed it so that previously the space elevator would be unlocked by doing a couple of tier 1 techs, but it is now listed here in the hub upgrade 5, or maybe it always was? I don't know anymore. It, it got changed in the early access to bring it early, I think. Okay. But then we still got the text, didn't we, in the uh, in the stream? Yeah, in the next, next level, as we like rank up the terminal again, it'll be like, you've now unlocked the space elevator. It'll be like, but it's already unlocked. Oh dear. I'm going to build some miners on the iron. I'm gonna sort out power, get this other thing hooked up, so momentarily everything's gonna break. Okay. How uh, dare you. Or some nice sounds when that happens, at least, that's always cool. When when there's a good power down noise, like... Always cool. Right, connect these two to this pole, and then that's... our power pole, and we can have more of those, that works. Both looking pretty good. Doing well on right. rods right now, a little bit less so on plates, just because we use plates for more other things currently. Where do we want the miners facing? Uh, oh, we got to those already, nice. Uh, I'd say, like, west. Just have them facing outwards from the hub, because we don't want the belts coming towards the hub. Things are already going to get busy around here. Like, I'm thinking that as we expand towards, like, a large-scale factory, we probably have it out over this way. Over the, this like, is... the grass lines in front of us. Yeah. yeah, this is where all the open space is, and also then we get to look at that out of our porch. Yeah, there's lots of really nice flat ground around here. Though, annoyingly, there's a bunch of blooming poison things up ahead, so we'll have to have the, um, the factory have take a those? sharp turn. Hmm? How do you kill the, the poison things? I don't think you can. They're rock structures, it looks like. I think they're just oh. rocks that give out poison forever. Late game, we get a gas mask, so I guess we can just do that. Ugh. It's going to be a real pain. I forgot about that, that we're going to be quite close to it. Maybe we expand in a different direction. Maybe we go east. I mean, I can always turn them around if you want. Oh, it's fine for them to be facing that way. That's not a problem. Okay, I'm just... going to go do miners on the uh, the copper and the limestone. Okay, I'm just going to like have a look around in to the east of the factory and see how good this is for construction. It's it's very nice and flat actually, and most of the terrain features are trees that we can just chop down. 
In fact, half of the stuff I could just harvest. Oh, Ray's coming straight over. I didn't know he flew over here. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's going that way. Yeah, Every time you say that, I look there. for the Ray, and then I'm like, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, yeah. Shame. Uh, do you want me to just to put the stuff going immediately into, like, a wire assembler? Um, you might as, as well. There's an interesting thing about the, the resource in this game that is different from Factorio, where there's no reason to have the plates, like, on a main bus structure or anything like that, because they... You mean the ingots? Oh, yeah, the ingots, even. That's the thing. There's ingots, yeah. and then there's plates. So, ingots are never used in any recipes apart from the basic components. No. So, iron ingots are only used for plates and rods, copper ingots are only used for wire, and stone is only used for concrete. So you might as well just run them straight into machines that make those, as long as the ratios are right. Yeah, I think we actually expand east, because the terrain is super uh, flat around here. And also, the further east we go, the less power poles you have to make to connect up to this drop pod over here. I forgot I was going to do some research b between episodes about what uh, the drop pod stuff does, because I know that there's some cool recipe things you can unlock with those, and I wanted to get some advance warning, but I guess I'll just have to discover it like normal instead of cheating How and looking at the How dare wiki. you? Yeah, I want to discover it like normal. This is, this is you know... I know, I know. I, I mean, I've, I've... A voyage of discovery. I've read the wiki page once, I just couldn't remember the specifics. God damn, Bentham. I should actually put biomass in this other machine. That would be a clever thing. Conveniently, I already prepared an entire extra stack of biomass. Oh. I'm jumping about a bit again. I don't know if you, my... you did glitch out there on Zoom a little bit. Every time. Why is... I need new internet. Can someone make me a new internet? The only way. Yeah. Bunch more biomass. New make wire. Done. Okay, they need hooking up to power. Okay, I'll be there in a sec. I'm gonna Just go sure to the limestone. We're good for power. Which limestone? Have we got limestone actually, like, mining? Um, I don't... I There's a, a little miner on it. A portable one. Oh, yeah, it's down here. I, yeah, I, I remember now. Yeah, you can, you can make a... When you make the ramp leading it up to, to here, you can... Put it so it works as a like an escalator for us. And actually, there's a lot of potential I think for using escalators in this game because the late game uh, conveyors get ridiculously fast, and I think they move you you faster as well as moving items faster. So you can actually just get like an insane speed conveyor to rapidly transport you around your base. Yeah. At least I hope so. It seems like it, and I'd be very disappointed if you can't. What is this? Oh, just a random limestone node. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, it produces... Oh, no, it doesn't produce eight. I thought it was giving me eight per, but it's giving me six. I'm going to have to put down one of the uh, mining things. I've got way too much inventory. I'd definitely make a, like a storage for concrete as soon as you've got that production going, because we want to store plenty of that to make some foundations. Because before we start to build any, like, large-scale factory stuff, I want to just foundation the area we're building in, because it makes it so much easier. Okay, fine. <gasps> Hello, Mana Ray! Oh, for me, he is far in the distance. How's this looking? Oh, it's all out of ore again. Oh, I, actually, I guess I can hook up the miners now. Except I don't yeah, think look, you've got enough pounds. room from, like, between these smelters and the hub for me to put the belts in. Ah. Because you went and smushed them up right there. I can move this stuff, actually, though. Yeah, how many constructors for concrete do we need? Just the one, right? Because concrete takes three limestone. Uh, yeah, well, look at the, the consumption. I think it's just one will do it. In fact, I think one constructor uses, like, 45 stone a minute, and that deposit, I think, generates only 30. It's impure. Yeah, yeah. it's impure. It's 30. Yeah, impure. 
It's okay. something to, then... to start with, at least. And there's a couple more stone deposits around the place that we can use if we need to. Ha. Oh, oh, this is having a moment. No, connect to the machine. Why? Why put this backwards? Oh, I put them backwards. I tried to well move done. the smelters and I put them both down backwards after carefully positioning them. Uh, the copper isn't powered. I'm going to stop bringing power over. So just, you know, so you're aware, I'm going to be draining the power. It's okay. I've got two biomass uh, generators hooked up, so we've got a bit of extra capacity. It's just a, a, a good sort of starting thing I find to have. Uh... Oh, I don't. What? What is this? I can't afford. It's a good idea just to have like one machine per item for rods, plates, wires, and concrete. I find to get started with, and then we'll just have building materials for everything we need to do. What am I doing here? Oh, I need to get plates. There we go. There are no plates. I need ingots. There are no ingots. I need ore. Welp. And... Do you happen to have some ore just on you? Uh, which type? Iron ore. Iron, yeah. Because you, you picked up the, the portable miners, and also there's no ore anywhere in the base. I've got ore on me. If you want it, come over here. Okay, I can actually, I realize, hook up uh, the power lines to these miners, and they'll start producing some. Because I just need a tiny bit so that I can... Um... Oh yeah, the, the actual large-scale miners do go through their animation before they start producing ore. Yeah... I just need a small amount so I can build the conveyors to connect the the smelters back up. But until then, we have no plates. Uh, where do you want me to store the concrete, by the way? Just immediately down here, or...? Oh, I'd say bring it up to, to the base. What, what I would say is that we, like, combine the output belts of the four different constructors and have a stack of uh, storages, and then we can just go to that stack whenever we need items. I know exactly where to put the storage containers. I'm concerned about you saying that. <laughs> Next to our thingamabob, so we've got like a lookout place, and we can use the ladder up the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> why, why were you concerned? Because usually when you have an idea about something, it, it's terrible in some way. Wow. And I mean terrible as in evil rather than just bad. <laughs> oh. So it's actually good. Um... Wow, okay, fine. Oh, actually, oh, there's a, there's a cool thing we can do. Um, let me build it. Can I make a storage container? I could just about make one. Wait, no, don't do that. I wanted to show you something. What? There's a thing, if you, if, actually, if you rebuild that, but like 90 degrees turned like this with the output facing us. Okay. So about there, that's backwards. <laughs> Like there. Yeah. And then, if you build a tiny conveyor out the front, or try to, and it looks really weird because of glitchiness, but there we go. So now, if you store something in this in this container, one of it will come out of this belt here and will be displayed in front of the container, showing you what's in the container. Yeah. Okay. Come on, it's it's useful. Yeah. Okay. Making it work for the rest of them, however, when they're stacked that high is going to be difficult. I don't know if well, we you need could to do get up to the them. top of our, our our base. Oh wait, it totally lets me do a weird glitchy thing and place. No, it doesn't. Never mind. It seemed to allow me to do it, and then it stops. I can't me. afford the rest. Ah. We'd only need four anyway. I wanted to climb up to the top with them. And remember that there is a, a climbing area here. You can just go up these. Yeah, but this was going to be more fun. So I've got to try and scale it back down here now. Oh, oh. Although that said, trying to get the resources oh, out of these might be a pain. I can't do ladders. And people keep telling me, you've just got to look down as you back onto the ladder. And I'm like, it doesn't help. I still fall off. Why do you keep telling me this? How far away can I access the container from? Not very... I can't actually access yeah, the you have to. You have to go up, up the ladder to access it. Just imagine it like... It, I, I like doing that, because it's like you're in a... It's like the ladder's yeah, in a library. It's time-consuming. 
Okay, well, yeah, if you if you do two stacks of two, that'll work nicely as well. And then that I think should... three stacks of two, yeah. Yeah, and that should allow me to do the display thing for all four of them, I think. Like, if I do that, that lines up correctly. And then I could just connect. Not... Oh, my God. Have you seen... <laughs> Look at what the what belt it's trying to build right now. Can you see what? that? That it's brilliant. Like it can't do that because it's not possible. But it, I keep having the belts try and build themselves in weird ways like that. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Move it out a bit. I lined up perfectly because that'll be important. Raise it. Belts. Connect. Delete. There we go, so we got an output belt for that too, except it didn't delete. There we go! It, it did, just didn't delete the thing for a second and then it suddenly came back again. It doesn't have to be perfect, just place it lined up in front and then make the belt out. Uh, yeah, yep, it's doing that thing. Yeah, it's it's trying to connect to itself, and it just shows you what it thinks it would do to do that, and also doesn't then do it because it can't. Mine was shorter than yours. It it works well enough, okay. <laughs> All right. Clear that out for right. consistency. We can make a more consistent thing for it later when we've got more kinds of of conveyor poles. Oh, back do we again. just want to bring wire in from over here then? Yeah, yeah, just bring wire, concrete, and the two iron things in. Oh, yeah, can I have a bunch of plates? Because I can't build anything right now. <laughs> Where'd you go? I mean, I'm going to run out of plates probably pretty soon. Uh, right, well, I'm, I'll just... At least now these miners will have produced some more, and I can just stick them in the smelter and get it that way. There we go. And, oh, these will need power. Uh, yep, I do not have enough. Here. Nope, can't afford. Hold on, we got smelting running. No, uh, no I don't have any cable left. <laughs> God damn it. I need a single cable. Let's make a few. Ah, damn. Occupied. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, oh, did it connect? Oh, it did connect. Wait, it didn't connect? What? I have no idea what you're on about. It says no power, but it also shows there definitely being a power pole here. And I'm gonna just, like, deconstruct and reconstruct. Huh. There it goes! Okay, I think I ordered a power pole built, and it was like, you can't build that, but then built it anyway. Oh, yeah, because of the weird input lag with your end. Yeah, that was very strange, and it was just showing that there was a wire there when there actually wasn't. Right, we have smelting again now, and in a minute we'll actually have some plates to work with. Why isn't this running? Oh, I need to connect these two. There we go, now we have plates being made. I'm also just going to loot all the ingots that are here so I can make some of my own speed up the process. I just build this yet? Why are we not producing all the all the wire I wanted? No, it's just not saying whether I need stuff or not. Copper and got. Co oh, bollocks! That's what I did wrong. Did you miss a step in the process? <laughs> yeah. Did you have copper ore going straight into a wire constructor? Yep. Yeah, everyone's done it. I did that too. And I did that after, like, five hours of playing. <laughs> to be fair, Copper actually comes into the game very infrequently. It's really weird, like, most of the, like, even mid-game stuff doesn't actually use Copper at any point. Right, is it Shift to try and match it up to something else, right? Uh, no, Control is to, is to lock to grids and stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Why can't I build this? Oh, because I don't have the iron it actually says I have. There's some weirdness with multiplayer that doesn't break the game, but breaks my brain sometimes. But I'm almost there. 
Can I please build this? There we go. Can I can I connect? Oh, mm, yeah. We've almost got Man. the two things hooked up. Why can't I build this? Because I don't have plates again. And constructor. I think we need to work on our plate situation, maybe. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. I mean, it's. Mm, I just need a few so I can build this damn belt, and then everything's automated. There. I also like that iron starts running onto the new belt I build before I see the belt get built. We have it now. We have fully automated uh, ore to plates going on. And we want, to, we want to scale it up pretty soon, as indicated by me having a shortage literally right now. Uh, why is happening? Hmm? Oh, why nice. is happening? Okay. Uh, well, I, I would suggest running plates. that into one of the higher up ones, because we'll need it less often. Oh. I'll, I'll move the belts to the end slightly and it'll be fine. In fact, that'll probably do like that. Uh, can't afford and invalid placement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of running the plates and the rods into the bottom two uh, storages, because that's just... Right, that makes sense, yeah. ...more accessible. But it's going to take me a while to be able to build those belts as I scrounge for plates. I'm currently stealing excess ingots from the iron rod production so that I can manually make those into more plates. It's okay, I built the conveyor belt. Well, I just need more anyway. By the way, I know we mentioned it last episode, but I want to point out that we have a night sun, which is great. Yep, it's wonderful. And people were trying to tell me, that's just a moon, you derp. And I'm like, it's a binary star system and moons don't glow that bright. Maybe they do here. If it has a really, like... I guess if it was like I, a super yeah. reflective surface, but... What's it called? Uh, it's the, um... It's not the specularity, what's it called? Uh... Uh... I have oh, no the word for, like, the reflectiveness of a, a body. I get the kind of thing you're going for, but I have no idea what the term is. I should know it. It's killing me. Let it be the radiation. That's true. All the different kinds of radiation from the lovely amounts of solar radiation we're getting from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The game isn't properly displaying what materials I'm missing when I try and build things. So I'm just having to guess. I think I'd need more concrete and rods. Yeah, I'm out of concrete. I'm just going to manually make some because I've got a bunch oh, of stone Oh, how am I for me. concrete? I am on 10. There we go. I've got plenty of that now. Uh, what else am I good for? I definitely need some wire. Luckily, we have that in storage now, and there's the convenient indication that there's wire uh, in that. Power might have died. Yeah, I just got the. I, I got your your. Hey, it's your first power failure email. Yay! Did we run a biomass? I, I think we just overtaxed. Like yeah, we've overtaxed the system. How much stuff you got running? The uh, everything you asked me to run. So smelter and constructor. You've got nothing being like made in more than one constructor or anything? Uh no. I just did the wire and I'm doing the concrete now. Turning oh. on the concrete is what killed it. That's interesting. I I thought I had more power capacity. Well I thought, I thought the game gave you more power capacity than that early on, but I guess not. That's annoying because we can't make any more generators until we unlock Hub Upgrade 5. Do you want me to turn off like the wire or something? Um, no, we need like 500 wire for the the thing. I'll, I'm going to turn off uh, the rod production for now. That, that's a standby. There we go. That alone should be enough, theoretically. Let's see. Does it hold? No. Okay, I will. I like the theoretically added there. Oh, and I... Oh, no, that is the right one I shut down. Yeah, I'm going to shut down more of this production line. Also, when I hit standby the first time, it doesn't do anything for me, so that's a glitch. Okay, th let's see if it works now. No, I think all the machines are still trying to run and the standby button is broken. Yeah, it's reset. Why has it reset? Okay, discovered a new multiplayer bug. If I click on the... Uh, 
the standby button, nothing happens. But if I then leave that menu and come back to it, I find that the standby button has actually been flipped. And if I try and flip it a second time, it it's reversed. Huh. So I just went through, fight. clicked on them both twice till they showed that they were on standby. Then when I went back to them all, they were no longer on standby. There we go, power is back. Yay, what did you put on standby? All the iron rod production. We're, yeah, we've got good plenty. I've got 100 you, on me in this 50 You switch the ore over then, put the ore from the iron rod thing into the plate thing. Well, th there's already more than enough ore to supply this. No, there isn't. No, th there, there is. The ratio is... No, right I just nicked, I nicked all the ore. Oh, you what? You stole it from the miner? Yeah. Well, no, from the from the uh, the the smelter. Well, that's fine because it'll it's being provided at a at quick enough rate. Okay. Like, let me check the speed of the miner. It's either thirty or sixty. This one. Yeah. Uh, the miner produces thirty per minute. The smelter uses thirty per minute, and then the constructor uses thirty per minute. It's all perfectly ratioed. If there's any in storage, it's because it, at some point things were shut down and it's had a chance to build up, and so it's fine to steal that. Yeah, I'm just going to manually make more plates still. How, you said last to... episode that that's heresy. And now look what at you're doing. At this stage of the game, we can't make extra power generation yet, which means we're seriously limited on what we can actually do. I definitely understood what you just said. We can't make more biomass generators, so we can't make no, more no, machines. Your zoom, your zoom glitched out. Oh, okay. Damn it. It's weird, because you're not glitching out for me, so I guess it's only my upload rate? Your download rate. Upload? No, upload rate. Yeah, you're right. Upload rate. Right, right, right. <laughs> I just can't understand you, because you can't speak. <laughs> yeah, that's a normal thing, though. It's true. It's the same. Honestly, same. Oh god, are you overlapping the... Oh, that's... I was told to! I definitely didn't tell you to build conveyor poles on top of conveyors so that items clip through the poles. That, that happened in our stream. I was told to in our stream. I don't think I told you to do that in our stream. I know that it theoretically could be done, but it hurts my soul to look at. Yeah, but then I get rid of the conveyor poles. Oh, that's... Now it's just defying physics. I mean, it defying was before, probably, but it's defying physics. it more now. But look at it. It's perfectly the right height to have the wire go through. Uh, the conveyor belt is just too long to connect to this box. Yeah. Literally exactly too long. Brilliant. There. Just have to connect up the plates now, and then we just have our convenient storage. And this thing, to my mind, is is essentially the factory factory. As opposed to the non-factory factory? Yeah, because this is a factory for building factories. It gives us everything we need to make a factory. Oh, okay. And then using why, the resources this provides this us... It's actually kind of hard to get through it. Uh... Yeah, so what I was going to do is, as soon as we have uh, walkways unlocked, I'm just going to build little bridges over these uh, conveyors. Because yep. that, originally I'm like, I could raise the conveyors, but also that's effort. And yep. I'd rather I'm just be you. able to go over them. I'm having to use the Oh iron no, plates. what are you doing? You could have overlapped these. I'm, no, I refuse. <laughs> I will not stoop to that level. Plate production is so slow. I'm having to harvest all the plates we have to extend the plate belt and try and connect it to the output. Do you want me to help with that? If you've got some plates on you, please just finish connecting this. But also, please make it so that the belts don't just overlap before connecting. Ah, oh, I'm like three short. Let me go get three more. I think I have three, but I don't think transferring between players is a simple process. I mean, it should be, but oh, I've got to grab them off the belt. Can you see iron rods just sat here, not moving? Nope, I can't see any iron rods. That's a visual glitch then. Because <laughs> I tried to it's pick them up relate. before. Well, it might it have been a visual glitch, it doesn't relate to like, the, the network thing. 
Well, I think it's just that the seam is registering that there's something there for me when it shouldn't be, and so it's displaying it, but if I try and pick it up, it checks with you and is like, nah, there's actually nothing there. Or something like that. Or Actually, it's probably just that it's showing it's there when it's not there and it knows. Computers okay. are weird. It's connected up. Uh, do you want me to stop producing concrete? Um, we do. We are sorted for concrete, actually, so we might want to switch that, like, start using Back that to power rods. to... Yeah, to yeah. make... Well, no, to make iron plates. We have enough rods, I think. Like, yeah, between me and this storage, we have enough rods to complete hub upgrade uh, 5 in that respect. So I'm just going to put them in there, and then we know what we have left. Okay, I've turned off a constructor and a miner. We're no longer making concrete. All right. How much wire do we have? Uh, we're halfway there with wire as well, so that's looking pretty good. See, so, yeah, we just need more iron plates desperately. In so. which case, I'm going to put a personal miner down on the iron. In fact, you know, you know what? I can do this simpler. I could just repurpose the the iron rod one. Yeah. Weren't you going to do that anyway? I, I don't know, but it, it means we're, we're, we're already good, we just need to make sure that all this stuff is back off standby, and I will cut this belt temporarily. Okay, Which you're gonna hate got what I'm gonna do. The visual glitch. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make some portable miners, and I'm gonna manually build iron plates. Oh, that's fine. Like... Right now, our only limitation is the iron plates, so we just need to make more of them, and the game won't let us have more power capacity till we do it, so all, all bets are off as far as I'm concerned. Wow. You've been broken by this. You heard it here, folks. Bent <laughs> is okay with manually crafting. For now. Later on, it's going to become heresy, but currently, it's all we've got. Heresy is all we've got. <laughs> okay. I'm down with this. Oh, what have I done? If only that would fit in the title for this episode, I'd put it down as heresy <laughs> is all we've got. Stick it on, stick it in the thumbnail, that's what I do. When I've got something more I want to say than the title nowadays, I've just put some text in the thumbnail. Heresy, it's all we've got. Oh, did you pick up a bunch of wires? Oh, you put them in the, the hub already, okay. I needed them to make the, uh, the portable miners. Wait, have I got another portable miner? I do! <laughs> it's quite nice that when you're carrying that thing, it shows you, like, her, like hefting the thing around. It's a nice addition. It is. Just want to complete the, this this hub upgrade. Because this is yep. the the most annoying bit of the game, I feel like, is when you're you're almost there, you're almost to the point where the game opens up, but the the goddamn biomass generator limit. It's like no, you won't, you get two. That's all you get. You can power not even enough machines to make one of everything. And you'll like it, damn it. It's annoying. Well, if you want, there's four like portable miners down there that are just chugging. Hmm. It's a good way to get it done quick. There we go. So now the power. Are we at the very limits of power? Yeah, we're literally hitting the the upper yeah, line of if power. If we turn on one more machine, it'll die. We're starting to run out of biofuel again. I might just go gather some. If you've got the uh, the manually making of plates covered, I'm pretty sure that the answer to what you said was a yes. God damn it. This internet connection used to be so good. Just, uh, just and deforesting the world. We are done with the wire. Excellent. We just need the 150 plates now. I think I have like 20 on me maybe or something. So if you need it, I can bring that back over. Right now I'm running through uh, a meadow full of flowers. Ripping Which them all out of the ground. Destroy? Yeah, I'm ripping them all up as I run through it. 
I don't think give a particularly good return on leaves, but also the super densely packed space-wise, which seems like a good way of gathering it all quickly. It's literally like two or three. Oh no, that's that's flower petals. I'm also picking up lots of flower petals. When you put them in the research machine, like to me, it just looks like you've got like a mixed salad or something. <laughs> what with, mm. with the petals? Yeah. It does kind of look like that actually. Someone made um, someone made a, a like a rotating uh, sushi belt, which was actually just like berries, nuts, and also <laughs> the boxes of petals, because it just all looks like food. Nice. My, I'm, I'm starting to get hand pain from having to hammer the E key repeatedly because you can't hold the button down, you have to hammer it. Ah. Uh, can't wait for chainsaws. I mean... They, they come far too late uh, uh, in the game. Can you... Can you kill things with chainsaws? No, and it's dumb. You should definitely be able to do that. And oh, you can't. I want to chainsaw one of those big things and like cut off its legs and it fall down. You are a monster. <laughs> but it would be funny. My hand hurts. But I have I'll lots of leaves now. I'm gonna put in all the leaves I have. Uh, not le the plates I have. I had, actually had 40 on me. I, nice. We can get it, we can get it, we got it! Oh, Jesus! Congratulations. You have oh yeah! Okay. That was a bang? I don't remember it being that loud before. Sure, Shada. Don't care. And here's our, our friend the rocket thing. And I guess that was the bang, because it turned, like, it, I don't think this was a thing before, but as of recently, when this thing enters the atmosphere, it makes, like, a, a sonic boom. A sonic boom? Nice! Which really scared me the first time I heard it. It was actually caught on stream. I was just sat in the in the hub building something, and I just heard this kaboom, and I'm like, the hell? <laughs> and then I just and then I heard the thing going Neow! towards the base. I'm like, what's happening? Am I being attacked? But it, it was fine. I approve. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get we, some pictures. There we go. We we finally got the hub complete, and we can now do the rest of the game. Um, and I think that's probably a good a good place to end it, right? Where are you going? Yep. Are you, you climbing up there? I'm gonna follow you. Yeah, I wanna, no, I wanna you, end you it can, by looking at our... I can be in your screenshot. Let me just stand up on top of the hub. In amongst all this smoke. It's perfect. Hello! I'm gonna zoom in and see if I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna get the Mercer Sphere again. Making noises. Hi. There we go, I can zoom in on you as well. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Did you not hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard it. Also, Wait, I like why when... is the why is the rod belt disconnected? Uh oh, because it's making plates now. But why is it disconnected? Oh, because cause it would go to the rod storage. Ah, that's why. Also, I like if sense. you if you have the Xeno the Xeno Zapper equipped and you zoom in fully. It then jitters about as you move because I guess the the increments of movement are now visibly higher. If that makes sense. Your contract legally compels you to. Uh, I guess. It's just jolting about everywhere because they like. I guess technically now, as perspective goes, my hand is like twenty meters out in front of my face. Oh God! I Bye. Oh. oh. Ow. <laughs> Ow, do we have any berries? Probably. Oh, also, you can hit middle mouse now and it gets rid of the photo mode overlay, which is wonderful. They realized that it was dumb to have oh. that obnoxious thing in the corner. That's awesome! But it's still got the Xeno Zephyr in my bloomin' face. Can't we bother getting rid of that? We, we have no berries. I've got like six nuts and I'm just gonna eat them all. I, I've been harvesting a lot of them, so I probably have some. But if you've got enough to heal yourself, it's No, I fine, do not. Right? I have no way near okay, enough. Okay, let me dump some stuff in the blooming chest. I'm I... just a nature guy, aren't I? That's my job now. Nature and burning. It's a good combination. Yeah, well, I, I harvest the nature to be eaten or burned. Yeah. There we go. Looks to me. 
Hopefully five um, berries is enough. I have more stuff, but I need my own supply of healing items. Five berries enough. That's okay. Thank you. Alright, so there we go. We've got our four basic components being made. The hub is complete. Now we get to the part where we build a giant factory somewhere. I'm thinking to the east. So uh, we'll be concreting the world soon. The east, the east is like untapped like nature reserves and stuff. Everywhere is untapped nature and stuff. Yeah, but, but the west the is so east, much more boring. The east isn't poisonous. Okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> so I think that's where we want to go. But I think that's where we'll we'll leave it for today. Hi, right, thank you so, for watching. Goodbye, thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Stay shiny.